Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing well, cause I'm actually weirdly stressing out this week. So, second week of school, the first one's always easy, but then the second one, everything comes and it hits you like a train wreck, so that's been me all week. But I am slowly recovering from this week, and guess what? It's Labor Day weekend, so longer weekend, yay! I don't have school tomorrow, so that's really exciting. So, let's get on to our business stuff. So, first off with the schedule, um, next week's gonna be Mamma Mia by Kara, for sure. I have it recorded, I just need it edited, I need to edit it, and then next week, definitely starting Monday, it will come out. So that's gonna be in three parts, for sure. And then also, Sometime next week is my little special something that hopefully will be coming out probably on the weekend. Um, I'm planning on recording it actually this Friday, so hopefully I get everything done and stuff like that. But yep, something special will come next weekend. Mm -hmm. And then after that, the next week will definitely be April Story by April. Super excited, super graceful dance, I've been working on it, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that one too. And then after that, because G-Friend has decided to come back with a, another um, song, which is Summer Rain, which I'm one super excited for because I absolutely love G-Friend, and I am going to do... Um, or attempt to do their new comeback if it has a dance probably does they always have a come they always have a dance with it but if they have a dance with it I will absolutely be doing summer rain after I do April story so yay yay so excited now I am attempting this in my tiny space of a dance space I have so you guys are gonna have to you know, forgive me a little bit for not dancing as well because I don't want to hurt myself in such a small space. I don't want you guys to hurt yourself in such a small space either. And then after that is definitely going to be Signal by Twice. Um, it's a pretty easy dance, so I shouldn't have super hard. So I shouldn't be, it shouldn't be super hard, so. It'll be a fun time in these next, actually, four weeks. I just predicted what four weeks will be. So, now on to our fun part. So, we had a poll next, last week, our first one of the school year, which I'm like, which we're all like, yay! And, actually, there was quite a, quite a good crowd in there. Um... I don't remember exactly how many votes, but definitely one came out for sure. It was a very, very close tie for a few few days, and then I checked this morning because I totally forgot to shut the poll down last night. Ha <laughs> ha! Um, but yeah, I found a winner. So, the dance that I'm going to be doing next or, you know, putting on my list at least, because we have that whole stream of weeks we have to go through. But the next dance tutorial I will be doing is... Yes! So it is going to be Is It Gag? And Yes I Am by Mama Moo! Yeah! I'm super excited. So this, so because these aren't like super hard dances, I could probably learn both of them at the same time, so... Yeah, it's going to be a double feature of in one week, so it should be exciting. Yay! So also because this dance has been up for three weeks in poll, poll time, so like during the summer and then like a giant gap and then this week and then last week, um, I will also be doing Very Nice by Seventeen. And yes, again, I am going to be doing this in my tiny space, so you guys are going to have to forgive me for my dancing, because I don't want to hurt myself in a small space. But, should be exciting! I'll finally almost have all the 17 dances done. 
I'm not gonna do Don't Wanna Cry here because I'd really injure myself, so I'm gonna wait for that. Maybe, maybe Thanksgiving break. I will try to do it because I have, I'm going back home to my big giant space. So that's it for the results of this poll, and I hope you guys please do join me for this, this week's poll. So, your choices for this week's poll is All Night by Girls Generation, then we have Holiday by also Girls Generation. I'm going to do these two separate because doing them both at the same time would probably not end well, so I'm gonna split them up into two weeks, so yeah. Otherwise, Girls' Generation for two weeks, so All Night and Holiday, and then the last one will be Last Romeo by Infinite again, because um, it wasn't the majority vote, or it hasn't been three weeks for that dance to be in the poll. So, that's on the list again, and please do vote for the next dance tutorial I will do. It helps me get, well, it helps me decide what dance tutorial to do because I'm a super indecisive person, first of all. And also, it helps me figure out what you guys want to learn. And it's not always about me. Yes, I'll sprinkle in some stuff that I want to do, but mostly I want to involve you guys in helping me decide what to do. So, for more details on the poll and stuff like that, it'll be down in the description box below, so you can read that. I'm not going to explain it again, because it takes a really long time. But anyways, also as a reminder, I will be closing it on Saturday at 9pm. Hopefully. Sometimes it doesn't happen that way, but, you know, um, otherwise, absolute... Otherwise, your deadline is pretty much, as I mentioned, Saturday, 9 p.m., my time, so U.S. Mountain Time, so, yeah. Please vote for the dance that you want to learn next! Yay! Okay, now on to comments. So, um, one again, I have to thank you guys for such nice comments on the videos this week. Um, I really appreciate them, and thank you. So there's one comment that kind of piqued my interest, and basically I want to address it today. So, this person says, Hi Stephanie, can you tell me how old you are? I'm trying to learn this, trying to learn dance, and you are very good. But I'm young, and I lose patience when trying to learn a dance. So, for my age, because so many people keep asking me, I'm going to let you guys guess. So, I am a college student, so let's say that I am in the range of 18 years old and up. So, if you guys can figure out what age I am, good for you. So, yeah. Because everyone keeps asking me about my age, and they keep thinking I'm, like, way younger than I should be. I'm just gonna let you guys guess. Or, actually, I should probably mention this. Tomorrow I am going to be doing a live stream. It will be at my time at 1. 1 p.m. So 1 p.m. my time, so this is U.S. Um, mountain Time. Here, I will be doing a live stream, and you guys can just talk to me about things, ask me questions, I'll probably mention how old I am, probably, maybe, we'll see, we'll see on my mood tomorrow, but otherwise you can ask me about any advice of dance, any sort of personal stuff that I'll tell you, probably not all the personal stuff, that'd be stupid, but otherwise, yeah. Please do join me on this live stream, 1 p.m. Yay! So excited. But anyways, back to the question. Um, the other part is... 
I am trying to dance and you're very good, but I'm young and I lose patience when I'm trying to learn to dance. So I've heard kind of quite a few comments on that say this um, that I lose lots of patience when I dance and you know what it just kind of depends on your mentality so how you basically mentality is for me I think is based on like how motivated I am to do to do the dance how physically um, how physically tired I am and how basically I'm feeling so overall the gener general thing of like um, the mentality is how tired I am and how much do I want to do this so even I lose patience sometimes because as I'm doing you know going throughout my day I'm like super busy so I'm always like so like in the morning I have like sporadic times that I can dance like a little bit and then in like the evening when I try to dance I lose like all my motivation sometimes because I'm just exact I'm just exhausted mentally up here and physically de physically because I've been walking all day to all my classes so yeah it's a it's okay to lose patience um you know really just Take it slow, take it at your own pace. Now, now if you want to, if you set a goal, like I set goals for all of these dance tutorials and stuff for this channel, and it really helps push me to learn the dance well, to be able to teach you guys and stuff like that. So, so sometimes what I'll do is, if I have like a lazy day so I don't dance as much, then the next day I will like push myself to do do the dancing because you know what my drive is, I want to stay healthy, I want to help teach you guys, I want to learn as much dances as possible before my body breaks down. Mostly that's a really good motivation, so yeah. Even if you're young, you know, just take it slow, take it at your own pace, whatever motivates you, whatever dance you really, really want to do. So, yeah. That's pretty much my advice when having to do with patience and mentality and stuff like that. So again, thank you for your comment. I really appreciate it, and I hope it helps. Otherwise, you can probably ask me again tomorrow during the live stream. Okay, so now on to how I've been doing this week. So, second week of school, again I'm mentioning this again because second week of school is actually a lot bigger than you think. I've been super swamped with everything, which is absolutely ridiculous. Um, basically I've been waking up like super early in the morning and then kind of trying to go to bed early but ends up kind of late so some of those days I'm just like absolutely brain dead. That's not the case today because I got tons of sleep last night. And then mostly I've just pretty much been working on my dancing and stuff. I have lots of editing to do today and this week because of that special thing that you will find out this weekend and I hope you guys enjoy it um because I've been working on this this whole month pretty much so yeah um otherwise you know just working on dancing and stuff like that I finished um ed not editing recording Mamma Mia by Cara which I I quite enjoyed although it was a little stretch for me because again not too good at the sexy dances it's a little awkward for me, and you can a lot of people can tell, but I think I've really improved. You know, just working on this dance mostly, I feel like I've improved so much over the years. Just seriously, just go back to like when I did uh, Cupid by Car, and you can totally tell the difference. It's it's crazy. It blows my mind every time. 
And then also I've been working on April Story, which is near and dear to my heart because I am mostly a ballet dancer, so it's very up my alleyway. I wish I had more space, but I don't, so I will try to do what I can in the space, and you guys are just going to have to deal with it. So, yeah. So again, I did mention this a few times before, but there is going to be a live stream tomorrow. If you're down this far this video, then me saying it for the third time is definitely going to come true, that there is going to be a live stream tomorrow at 1. I have promised you guys for weeks and weeks and weeks about doing a live stream, just talking and stuff like that, so here it is. Since it's my Labor Day weekend and I have the day off, I have time to do a live stream. And it's going to be really hard for me to do live streams coming up in the future because whew, I am really busy. If you guys don't remember, but I am in my last year of undergraduate, um, my undergraduate degree, so yeah, I have lots of applying to graduate schools, finishing my thesis, finishing my classes, Ugh. it's just ridiculous, so yeah, last year, super busy, but I'm gonna keep dancing. And also, as you can see, usually I have a poster up there, but I've been lazy. <laughs> And so one night, as you can see, the remnant tape, well actually you can't, but there's like remnant tape up there that you can't see, but it fell down one, one night in the past two weeks or something like that. It fell, and then I just never got to putting it up, so hopefully this weekend I do it. Also, I have posters to put up on that wall. So the one that you can't see, but it's in front of me, is bare. That's where I usually put my um, K-pop posters, so yeah. Oh uh, yeah, there's one supposed to be there as well. Two over there as well, so yeah. I've been really lazy lately. And weirdly enough, I've been getting into Animal Crossing again because of my friend Mary, who lives just past the wall. Um, yeah, so I've been really into Animal Crossing again. I've been trying to think of a theme, so if you guys have any um, cool themes that you want to spurt out at me, because I'm super indecisive about this game anyway, so yeah. So, yeah, I've been like crazy, 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 crazy stuff! And also, it is a little bit darker today in this room because I can't turn my lights on. So, um, well, it's been a year since this apartment's been, you know, open and stuff like that. So, it's been about a year since using the lights. So, I think it's about time to change the lights, but the thing is, I don't have any light bulbs, so I have to put in a work order to get my lights fixed. Now, if I turn my lights on, you would see that it would start flickering tiniest bit. It's tiniest bit of flickering. But when you're study, when you're studying and when you're stressed, that just really 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 stresses you out and makes you absolutely bonkers. So, that's why it's dark, and that's why I am not turning on this light until my lights are fixed. So, yeah. That's pretty much my week. I just found out about the lights just last night. Just yesterday? Yesterday? No. Thursday night. Found this about th Thursday night. But, anyways, you know, that's my week. It's been absolutely hectic, and yeah. So I do hope you enjoy this video, and I hope you enjoy my rambling. If not, then, well then, I can't really do much about that, can I? So, if you did enjoy this video, please do subscribe for more cool videos like this. If you haven't, that would be awesome. And I'll see you guys tomorrow!
If not, I'll see you guys next week. Bye! Bye guys! Come tomorrow! Come tomorrow at 1pm my time to talk to me!